Okay, um, I'm Celeste Baranski. I'm the VP of Engineering at Numenta, and I want to introduce Matt Taylor, who's the Numenta open source community flag bearer. I'm sure some of you know Matt. Um, we're going to talk very briefly about how to get started practically with Numenta's technology. Um, so we think the technology we're working on is pretty important, and we've spent some time trying to find as many ways as we can to share it with you and other developers. Um, so at Numenta, we do research, we work on theories, we also do technology development into products, and so Matt and I are going to talk about four different ways that you can use um, Numenta technology today. These are all outputs of our, um, of our development and research process. We're going to talk about Grok, our product, um, the HTM anomaly detection engine, our HTM sample applications, and finally, NewPic, our open source platform. So first, uh, Grok, we've heard a little bit about it today. Um, as a reminder, it's a product that does anomaly detection on IT metrics. We also built a custom data interface so you can plug your own data into it to, uh, to try different things. You can, today you can download this um, from the Amazon Web Services Marketplace and it's pretty straightforward to get started. You can actually download it for free from Numenta, so there's a no-cost license, but you do need to pay Amazon for the web services. Um, and then to, to get it started, you just spin up your instance, load this, and you can start um, monitoring your metrics on the server immediately or feed in your own data. So this is the first way you can use Numenta technology. It's the most straightforward and, and pretty simple. Second way I'm going to talk about is the HTM anomaly detection engine. So this is a software uh, component that is a generic architecture for streaming um, anomaly detection. This is not specific to IT metrics only, but you can use it for really any kind of streaming data you want. You can build your own application on top of the HTM engine and run it anywhere. This code does require a license from Numenta, so if anybody is interested in talking about this, you can contact me or any one of the Numenta folks about this. This next slide is a little bit of un under the covers for the HTM anomaly detection engine. So this is um, the, the engine's a building block. It was designed using a standard services-based architecture, so it's uh, low latency and efficient, and it can, inject, um, it can ingest multiple data sources. So the streaming data comes into the custom metrics interface, which is a, a graphite-like API. Then we have a model scheduler that um, runs the HTM models, and it balances the, um, the number of cores. It's a very parallel architecture, so you can run the model on, or the uh, engine on a single laptop. But, the, um, but it, the more cores you put in, the more you can do. So you can run up to thousands of models with a big server. Um, the latency degrades. Um, Oh, if your models that, that you're trying to run exceed the number of cords, the latency degrades gracefully. So it, it really works pretty well for, for a lot of data as well. And on top of it all, there's a RESTful API, so you can pretty simply plug in applications of your own choosing web apps, um, mobile applications. So that's the, the second way you can use um, Numenta technology today. Third thing I'm going to talk about, you've seen this slide before, these are the HTM sample applications. They're all in different domains, so they run on HTM code. Um, and how can you, you actually use these? Um, we have all this, I think Chayton mentioned this, we have all the sample code for these, um, these applications up on our open source domain, and you can download them under uh, GPL version 3. If you want to use these in a commercial product, we have a license available for that as well. So I've talked about the, the first three. Now I'm going to uh, hand the presentation over to Matt to talk about the most powerful of all. <laughs> Thank you, oh. Celeste. Uh, NewPic is the open source project at the core of just about everything that you've seen today. Uh, aside from Cortical IOs, Word SDRs that we've mentioned a few times, NewPic runs all the other stuff, all the other examples that we talked about. And it's open source. We've got a generally large community at this point of people that are interested in working in, working with it, uh, contributing to it. Um, this is something that's very low level. So if you're a hardcore uh, neuroscience or engineer, you really want to understand how this works and, and you want to build custom applications, this is the, a good entry point for you. Um, you can get a lot of help from the NUPIC community. We've got hundreds of people. Uh, there's a lot of traffic on our mailing lists. Um, 
and uh, uh, they're available to provide help to you if you're trying to build something and you don't know how it works, so you can't get it working. Um, the portal for all of this is numenta.org, uh, as opposed to numenta.com. Um, the, as I mentioned, as Celeste mentioned, uh, this is all licensed as GPL v3. There is a commercial option if you'd like to talk to us about that. So for academic stuff and research stuff, go crazy, do whatever you want with it, as long as you keep your code GPL v3. Um, but it is kind of a high bar for entry. You have to understand a lot of the theory to actually get in and be productive with NuPic. Um, I want to go over why we did this. So. Uh, we made the decision uh, to, almost a year and a half, two years ago, to go open source. And we wanted to do this because we wanted more people to be thinking about HTM, to be working with HTM, and to be contributing to the theory, the discussions, the implementations, the sample apps, all of that stuff. And so instead of just one company, Numenta, working on HTM, we wanted to have a big community of a lot of people thinking about these things. And it's worked really well so far. Uh, we've got a very engaged, passionate community of developers and advocates in, in NewPIC uh, that are constantly communicating and, and thinking about new ideas, new problems, new things to try with HTM. Uh, so it's worked out great. That's, this is why we did this. We wanted to advance this technology, and we're very happy with the result. Um, so our community has got a constant linear growth pattern over the past uh, year and a half or so, um, and these are uh, metrics I took from social media, from how many people we have on our mailing lists and messages on the mailing lists and, and stuff like that. Um, so uh, we're pretty healthy. You can learn about us at numenta.org, and we have a very extensive wiki. So um, a lot of the, the things that you saw today, we have tutorials for, we've got videos of. Uh, if you go to our wiki, uh, we've organized this in a way you can investigate more about the theory. We've got a, a lot of videos up on YouTube with people explaining things on the whiteboard or just walking through sample applications on how to do this with NuPic or how to do that with NuPic. Um, so we tried to organize this in a way that leads you down a path for you to be productive with this technology. Um, and we really see this as the infancy of HTM. Um, NuPic is very new. This whole technology is, is very new. Um, we kind of think of it like the Homebrew Computer Club back in the 70s. Our community is very large and diverse. There's a lot of different types of people with different opinions trying to do strange and interesting things with this technology, and that's exciting. And, and we see people theorizing about what they want to do with it, uh, where they want it to go, arguing about the direction, uh, is, and, and they're all so passionate and involved, and it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling to get involved in something so soon that we think is going to be so important. Um, so this is just the beginning. And we're excited you guys are all here. I hope you'll investigate NuPic. We are having a hackathon tomorrow. So uh, is anyone actually going to the hackathon? All right. It's good showing. OK, well, I'll see you there. Uh, so uh, thanks, you guys, for coming. And um, we, do we have this in a handout? Uh, because this is kind of a breakdown across all the different entry points uh, that you can get into HTM technology uh, kind of in a nice little grid. So I don't want to go over every point. We've already gone over it, but I think we'll have these at the at the new pick demo station at the reception if you want to pick up a, a hard copy. Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so we have a little time for questions, right? If anyone has any. Maybe not in there. Any questions? We're good. We're Easy good. compared to the theory. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you.